Hey everybody, it's social media producer Tom Barnes. This is the Chicago scene. Today's Chicago scene brings us to the Little Village neighborhood right at Home Run Inn Pizza, the flagship location, and uh, which has just been rebuilt, and that's why I'm meeting my friend Jamie. How you doing, Jamie? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good. Uh, so behind you is the, uh, the newly rebuilt flagship, right? It is. Um, we we started actually the our existing location is here our our old I want to want to call it an old location our uh, the original the original location yeah. um, that we started in 1947 was literally in that parking lot and part of the uh, old kitchen is still there that's that little boxed out little part right there right yeah. so we we try to keep as much of the original location as we could inside our new location and th I mean this is very much a family type of. Uh, place to work for. Uh, you started when you were a kid, 16. I was. I started when I was 16. I have, I think, probably close to five or ten family members that work within the company. Um, Homer and Inn is basically just a big family. We're an extension of each other's family, and it's a, they're an amazing family to work for and to work with. And it's still, you know, original owners as far as the family is concerned, right? It is. It's the fourth generation. Um, so we started in 1947 as a tavern, and they started selling liquor. Um, obviously they wanted people to come in and, and drink so what they did is they started making pizza and they cut pizzas into little squares and they put it on the bar and started serving people pizzas and then realized people weren't coming in for the drinks anymore they were coming in for the pizza right and that's actually the reason why I even started this whole thing with the park behind me which I'm gonna swing over real quick and just show so there's baseball fields back there, there and that's kind of why not kind of that's how you got the name for home run in went right through the window and there we came home right in. And you guys started making the square pizza kind of like the thing on the south side of Chicago all those years back. Yeah, I would say, I mean, we like to think of ourselves as the Chicago pizza. Um, yes, we cut it in squares. We, I know there's always a big debate of pie versus square, but we stay true to our original roots and we cut our, our pizzas in squares. And, and so it's family, it's been family uh, owned and run for years. Uh, just tell me really quick about just the, the legacy of the family that ha runs Home Run Inn. So, um, like I said, fourth generation um, Home Run Inn family members. They are wonderful people. I can't say enough nice things about them. Just, you know, even over the last couple of months, I feel like we've really kind of come together and shown each other just how big of a Home Run Inn family we are. Um, you know, I feel like just the little things that we've done and the things that they've helped us get through um, with the last couple of months. We've actually put together like a, uh, a program so any of our employees can donate sick time to anybody that comes down with you know the virus and so we put a lot of great things in place and I think it just shows us it, it, it makes me very proud to work for Homer and, and, and the family behind them. And you guys have adapted with the uh, the, the pandemic times with the curbside check-in, the pickup, um, and you also have the restaurant set up for social distancing, right? We do. Um, so we have our dining rooms are open. Um, we do have special hours depending on which location you go to, but our carry-out, we have carry-out, dine-in, delivery, and curbside pickup at all of our locations. And for this particular one, I mean, this is a, a huge new space. You guys have paid uh, homage to the past with, what's the, uh, the painting inside with the dogs? That's a big one. I got to get that one in. It is. Um, so it was just an iconic painting of, uh, of the dogs that you can see um, and people used to come in so what we did is we also took that from our existing location and brought that over so people can still enjoy that. We also brought our Tiffany lamps over. Um, those were on top of each table at our original location and we brought those in and you can see those in the, in the entryway when you walk in. So we tried to bring as much nostalgia as we could. And you brought um, some fabulous pictures that are on the, uh, the wall here where it kind of just kind of tells a story about Home Run In from like the groundbreaking of the original to the founders, right? It does. Um, so you'll see, you know, there's a, a variety of, um, you know, pizzas being made in the kitchen to our, our, old, our existing kitchen, which is awesome to see just, you know, how those ovens looked back in 1947 um, up till now. And you'll see Joe and Nick, which are was our original co-founders. Um, you'll see them as well. And another way that you guys give back to families with the whole family thing is to the community surrounding you, right? We do. We, um, as a family company, we love to give back to our surrounding communities. And over the last couple months, we've actually fed 75,000 first responders and families in need. And we're continuing, continuing to do so. So I think it's time that we go and check out like what has made you guys famous. So let's maybe uh, get a quick tour of the uh, whole pizza making process. What do you think? I think that would be awesome. Come on in. All right, let's go. I'm going to go follow you. So in the famous home run-in kitchen. 
Okay. And this is Jose, right? Yes, sir. How's it going, Jose? All right. How are you guys doing? I'm good. You've been here for a long time. You said you've been here since, what, 96? 96. So about 24 years now. All right. So why don't you get started and then uh, you're going to kind of tell me what's going on. Yeah? Sure. Will do. Okay. So what are we seeing first? All right. So you are seeing our famous home run in dough, um, which is the same recipe that we've been using since 1947. We make it fresh daily. It's got a little bit of a buttery crust to it, but it's definitely our secret recipe and I think makes makes our pizza what it is. And you guys take it, you have it, your original recipe, and then you kind of flatten it out in this uh, pancake machine thing, right? We do. It's, it's where the magic happens. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and then from there, oh, okay. You'll flip and switch. So this is all stuff you've been doing since this home run has been around, right? We have. We haven't changed a thing. We we are legitimately making the same pizzas we were making in 1947. Same recipe, same everything. We have some of the same people that still work here. <laughs> Who came up with the uh, actual recipe of the pizza? Like, and how did it start? Did it was just a, a process that happened over time, or how does that work? Yeah. Um, so Grandma and Grandpa, the Gratanis, um, they started a tavern, and they would sell liquor and people started coming in and they realized you know how are we gonna get people to drink more and they said well you know what let's we're making this pizza let's cut the pizza into squares and put it on the bar so they did and when they started making that pizza and putting it on the bar people started coming for the pizza and not the drinks um, and then they realized that they had something and that's home run in so what's he doing right now with the uh... um, Jose how could you explain that uh, I just get the air pockets out of it so you don't have any bubbling going on sometimes you'll have you know cheese missing Usually when it bubbles up, it avoids that problem. Okay. So here he's going to put our famous sauce, which I would say is, you know, some people like a sweet, some people like a, a tangy. Um, I would say it's somewhere in the middle. It's not super sweet and it's not, I'd say it's just perfect. It's our home run and secret sauce. Got it. Okay. <laughs> and then we're at, so now we move down the, uh, the line here. Where are we heading, Jose? We're gonna do the cheese topping part, put some pepperoni on this guy. Okay. So the one thing too about our um, about all of our ingredients is they're all natural, they're homemade. Our uh, tomatoes that you just saw that were put on there are made from Modesto, California. So yeah. everything that you're seeing here are all natural products. All natural products. All natural products from real companies right here in the U.S. And you guys got it down to like almost a literal science there. You got like a little, little I mean, a scale, right? We do. I think you're so good that you could probably eye it though, Jose, right? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's got to be exact. Make sure it's perfect every time. Make sure it's perfect every time. So that's why now Jose's putting on the pizza, or putting on the pizza, putting on the pepperoni. Is there a magic number of pepperonis that go on a pizza, or is it just kind of until the pizza's full of pe uh, pepperoni, Jose? Uh, our, our pizzas are he he heavily topping. You know, it's premium pizza, so... You're not going to get a, it's, you'll feel it right when you pick up the box. It's a very heavy pizza. Okay. Um, there is a number of pepperonis that we like to try to do, but for the most part, it's got to look full. You don't want any empty spots. Got it. All right. So when you're done, you flip around. Let's say there it is. So that's the hard part, right? That's the hard part. Now the easy part, you're going to back up here and get it in the oven. And how long do these usually, uh, Stay in this oven uh depends on what kind of pizza you're having this is kind of like a light topping so it'll be done in about 14 and a half minutes really 14 and a half minutes yeah they're pretty quick now these ovens are very very efficient and they're just like the old-fashioned way it's a heat all heat on the bottom so they're stone ovens or you know they're flat ovens you're gonna get all that heat from the bottom get a nice crispy crust going just like we used to do back in 1947. so it goes through the oven we get it on the other side and then we eat it thank you jose you're welcome all right that is the Chicago scene for today. Home Run In Pizza, Little Village, right across the street from the place that got its namesake, the park where the ball flew into the window. And there you have Home Run In Pizza. If you like something on the Chicago scene, shoot me an email, T-B-A-R-N-A-S at WGNTV.com. That's T-Barnas at WGNTV.com. Also, go to our website, WGNTV dot com slash Chicago scene to see all the ones I've done before. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good day.